My name is Dado Valentik and I'm a colorist and uh, color scientist um, working and living in London and um, I'm now in beautiful city of Budgoc in Poland on the Camera Image. I came to Camera Image to share some of our experience that we had in HDR productions for the past two years and um, you know to, to do a little workshop and to show a little bit you know all the little advances that we have made to make working and producing in HDR better. So I did a, two uh, jobs on Varicam um, two TV series that where I have uh, uh, played a role as a color scientist, as a colorist as well. And um, it worked incredibly well actually for the HDR. Mainly because, well there is a couple of reasons really why, why it worked really well. So the main reason was that the sensor is um, very clean. There is very little noise in the camera, even on a very high ISO, which is really important for HDR. This is one of the most challenging things in HDR, that, 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 that the noise becomes very visible. And the second reason why I really like it is that the camera is so modern and advanced in terms of the color management implementation in the camera, that we can load lookup tables, we can create metadata inside the camera, we can work with CDLs wirelessly with camera. So so it just makes it, it, it makes it exactly like work as the way we would want to work. Like the workflow is just really, really easy to do. The workflow is everything, you know, from the moment you press record on the camera to the moment you deliver images in the cinema or to the TV audience. So that chain from the beginning and the end is the workflow. And workflow or image is as good as the weakest part of that of that chain. So um, basically what we are trying to do is we are trying to create what we call a color managed workflow. So what we do is we are capturing all the time raw images, but in parallel we are tracking the color decisions of the way how we want that image to look alongside basically the post-production process. And that allows us to actually create images that are looking much better. This is how we achieve this very high quality. By, by basically understanding how things are going to look like when on set and by being able to implement those decisions on the last stage of the color grading. And that also color managed workflow allows us to create masters for different formats. Like for example, it's very easy for us to convert to cinema or for television. And what's in most demand at the moment is to be able to work HDR and SDR in parallel. Everybody's asking for HDR content and even people that they thought that it will never happen, you know, it's like originally it was only Netflix and Amazon that started working in HDR, but recently we had a job on HBO that didn't, that they, they thought there will never be HDR that is now became an HDR job. So it is just really like, you know, the, the top, the high end of television is really going that way. And, and, and for a reason, because the images that people can view at home in HDR, they are just of such a beautiful quality that you actually don't need to try to sell HDR to anyone. So, we unfortunately there was nothing available on the market that would do exactly the job for us as way we wanted to do it. So we had to choose the route of developing our own software for it. It's not the easiest route, but we've managed to find a partner in France that is developing software called Color Lab. And um, that is our little application that we are using to design the look and then also to create a metadata that is compatible with every manufacturer on the market so that we can actually successfully move throughout the process and finish it off. That software was only like limited to us in our company, but now we're making a worldwide release. Well, it works incredibly well with Varicam because you see the Varicam can, you know, use our, you know, color decisions, color science wirelessly, you know, so we actually don't need any external hardware, you know, and Varicam actually creates all that metadata for us in the camera. It's the only camera that does so. So we were actually so happy once we kind of, you know, got Varicam in, in our hands to realize that it's doing everything that we wanted it to do already without us having to, you know, make any additional effort with any hardware or anything else. So yeah, it's, a, it's, 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 it's actually the easiest workflow of all. If there was one point that we had when we were working on our Varicam jobs was that we were not able to go high frame rate 4K. The, that's the problem we had. And the, the, the 
codec that we were capturing had to be very highly compressed in order for us to go high frame rate, which was a compromise on quality. So what happened now is that with Varicam Pure, that boundary is gone. So we literally work 120 frames if we want to in RAW and uncompressed RAW as well. And that you know, should satisfy even the, you know, the productions that have the highest demand and picture quality. And that, that is basically was the last step for us to be able to put this camera in front of the, you know, the, the top productions that we work with. Whoever decides to work like that is going to have to basically, you know, take the cost of data management in account. I mean, you know, we say in post-production there is a three things, yeah? It, you can do something fast, you can do something cheap, and you can do something good. You can have only two at the same time. So, if you want something, you know, good and fast, you know, it's not going to be cheap. And that's the thing with the data management. If you want to basically manage the data, you just have to accept that there's going to be certain costs involved in it. But it is manageable. You know, today the hard drives are better, faster, and we're using a lot of cloud for storage. So, so it's just becoming easier to work with that amount of data. So the Varicom workflow is basically, in short, very clean, uh, 4K image in a high frame rate if necessary um, with all color metadata embedded into it.